With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see how serverless helps you build secure, scalable apps, then stay tuned because here's a rewind. When you're building a cloud application, security is always on your mind. It takes a constant effort to stay ahead of the threat vectors, which can easily burn up engineering time. Thankfully, serverless offerings can help cut down the amount of effort you need. Vulnerabilities can exist in almost every stage of your tech stack, starting with hardware all the way up to your application code. With serverless, everything below your application code is managed by Google without any actions needed on your part. While you're still responsible for the security of your code, GCP has a few tools to help make it a little easier on you. First, Cloud Functions has just released support for Max Instances configuration, which allow you to reduce your vulnerability to both denial of service attacks as well as the hug of death, where you might inadvertently DOS your own backends without knowing it. There's also improved budgets and budget alerts, which can help prevent against DOS attacks designed to exhaust your resources. Next, Cloud Functions has just rolled out support for environment variables. So instead of leaking credentials by putting them directly in your code, you can manage them from a separate console interface. And finally, new IAM controls grant the ability to specify which users have access to run and interface with what Cloud Functions, meaning you can create microservices which, instead of being available to the outside world by default, can be limited to only interact with other systems inside your application. Now, this is just a sampling from the main talk. If you're interested in a larger list of vulnerabilities, as well as some great demos from NPM and Intrinsic, check out the full talk linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.